Hello, so today's topic is UI camera. So, in the scene right now, I currently have this little player icon. And the image is quite bad. I'm sorry, it's just what I got on the asset pack. So, right now, this is all being rendered on one camera. If I click on the canvas, you can see I'm rendering in the camera render mode. And I'm using my main camera to have this canvas rendered. Now, this is totally fine, it works. However, really you want to be separating everything. So, I'm going to show you today how to make a camera just for solely rendering the UI on your game. And it's really easy to do. So the first thing you want to do is have your UI set up. Once your UI is set up, what you're going to do is you're going to create a new camera. So there we go. And I'm going to call this UI camera. Then you want to change the skybox, I mean the clear flag, from skybox to depth only. And then you want to make your curling mask only render UI. So click on nothing, click on UI. Now, we want to change our depth to around, I'll go with 10 for now. And then you want to remove the audio listener. You only want one audio listener in your scene. And you really want that on your main camera, which is going to be following the gameplay. So now that we have our UI camera, all we do is we go to Canvas, where our UI is being displayed and we put in our UI camera. Make sure your camera scale is set up and that's it. You now have a camera that is solely active for only displaying the UI in your game and you've now separated the concerns. So that's it and if you're having problems make sure your UI itself is on the UI layer. If it's not working, that is probably why. It's probably because your UI is on maybe default or something. Make sure it's on the UI layer. And with that done, that's this tutorial completed. You now have a basic camera for your UI. If you have any questions, leave a comment or ask away my Discord server and I'll get back in touch as soon as possible.